Um Mohammed sells fuel in the devastated city of Raqqa. She's one of thousands of people who became street vendors after their shops were destroyed. Her job supports a family of 10, but she says they need more money. Life here is extremely miserable. The local council has provided us with nothing. Since we've come back to Raqqa, we've received not even a single crumb of aid. I'm sick and I need medicine every week. Raqqa still suffers from the chaos brought by Daesh. The terror group controlled the Syrian city for four years, but it was driven out by a bombing campaign conducted by the US-led coalition. It took more than five months of airstrikes to eliminate Daesh from the city it called its capital. Now the US-backed YPG terror group is in control. Families like Umm Mohammed's say they're getting no help to restore what's been destroyed. Like her son Mohammed, this is what's left of his house after it was destroyed in an airstrike. We're waiting for them to help us rebuild. My seven children and I are living in a 50 square meter house. It took me 12 years of work to buy the apartment, but they destroyed it in a moment. Despite the devastation, many families who fled the fighting have now returned. Some shops that are still intact have reopened. But there are few places to live, and locals are asking how they will rebuild their shattered city. Nick Davis-Jones, TRT World.